Edmonton Oilers Jokes, NHL Jokes Q. What do the Edmonton Oilers and the Titanic have in common? A. They both look good until they hit the ice. Q. What's the difference between frequent flyer miles and the Edmonton Oilers? A. Frequent flyer miles earn points. Q. Why do Oilers fans drink from a saucer? A. Because the Cup's always in Detroit. Q. Why did the Oilers enforcer retire early? A. He was ice fishing and got run over by the Zamboni. Q. Why don't the Oilers drink tea? A. Because the Canadiens and Red Wings have all the cups. Q. What do you call five Edmonton Oilers players standing ear to ear? A. A wind tunnel. Q. Why are the Oilers like grizzly bears? A. Every fall they go into hibernation. Q. What does a recent high school dropout and the Edmonton Oilers have? In common. A. They're both young, have no goals and no good prospects. Q. What's the difference between a line of cocaine and a pair of Oilers? Tickets. A. People would pass up a pair of Oilers tickets. Q. What's the difference between the Detroit Red Wings and the Edmonton? Oilers. A. The last Red Wings Stanley Cup team picture isn't in black and white. Q. What's the difference between a fat chick and the Oilers? A. Even a fat chick scores every once in a while. Q. Why do the Oilers suck at geometry? A. Because they never have any points. Q. What is it called when a Edmonton Oilers player blows in another? Oilers player's ear. A. Data transfer. Q. What do college students and the Oilers have in common? A. They've both finished their year by April. Q. What's blue and orange and goes down the toilet faster than liquid? Plumber. A. The Edmonton Oilers. Q. What do a fine wine and the Edmonton Oilers have in common? A. They both spend a lot of time in the cellar, cost too much and are only enjoyed on select occasions. Q. Why did the post office recall their latest stamps? A. They had pictures of Oilers players on them and people couldn't figure out which side to spit on. Q. Why do people like driving a car with a Oilers fan? A. Because you can park in the handicap zone. Q. What do you get when you combine all 23 Edmonton Oilers with 23 lesbians? A. 46 people that don't do dick. Q. What is the difference between a Edmonton Oilers fan and a pothole? A. I would swerve to avoid the pothole. Q. What song do Edmonton Oilers fans sing before the end of the third? Period. A. Nobody knows. There's never any of them left. Q. What's the difference between the Edmonton Oilers and a mosquito? A. A mosquito stops sucking. Q. What do the Edmonton Oilers and possums have in common? A. Both play dead at home and get killed on the road. Q. What is the difference between a Oilers fan and a baby? A. The baby will stop whining after a while. Q. Did you hear the Edmonton Oilers are moving to the Philippines? A. They are going to be called the Mania Folders. Q. What do I have in common with the Edmonton Oilers? A. Next week. We'll both be watching the Stanley Cup Finals on television. Q. What do Edmonton Oilers fans and sperm have in common? A. One in three million has a chance of becoming a human being. Q. How many Edmonton Oilers does it take to change a tire? A. One, unless it's a blowout, in which case they all show up. Q. What do you call 23 millionaires around a TV watching the Stanley Cup? Finals. A. The Edmonton Oilers. Q. How can you tell if a Oilers fan just sent you a fax? A. There's a stamp on it. Q. What do the Edmonton Oilers and Billy Graham have in common? A. They both can make 15,000 people stand up and yell Jesus Christ. Q. What is the difference between a bucket of shit and an Edmonton Oilers fan? A. The bucket. Q. If you have a car containing a Oilers forward, a Oilers center, and a Oilers defender, 
who is driving the car? A. The cop. Q. How do you castrate an Edmonton Oilers fan? A. Kick his sister in the mouth. Q. What should you do if you find three Edmonton Oilers hockey fans? Buried up to their neck in cement. A. Get more cement. Q. What's the difference between an Edmonton Oilers fan and a carp? A. One is a bottom feeding, scum sucker, and the other is a fish. Q. How did the Edmonton Oilers fan die from drinking milk? A. The cow fell on him. Q. What does an Edmonton Oilers fan do when his team has won the Stanley Cup? A. He turns off the PlayStation 3. Q. How many Edmonton Oilers fans does it take to change a light bulb? A. None. Lava lamps don't burn out man. Q. What does a Edmonton Oilers fan and a bottle of beer have in common? A. They're both empty from the neck up. Q. Why do Edmonton Oilers fans keep their season tickets on their dashboards? A. So they can park in handicap spaces. Q. How do the Oilers spend the first week of training camp? A. Studying the Miranda rights. Q. How do you keep a Oilers fan from masturbating? A. You paint his dick red wings red and white and he won't beat it for four years. Q. Why do Oilers fly over Rexall Place upside down? A. There's nothing worth creping on. Q. Did you hear that Edmonton's hockey team doesn't have a website? A. They can't string three W's together. Q. What's the difference between a Rexall Place hot dog, and a Joe Louis? Arena hot dog. A. You can buy a Joe Louis Arena hot dog in May. Q. Why did BP hire the Edmonton Oilers to clean up the Gulf oil spill? A. Because they'll go out there and throw in the towel. Q. What's the difference between a dead dog in the road and a dead Edmonton Oilers fan in the road? A. There are skid marks in front of the dog. Q. What is a Edmonton Oilers fan's favorite wine? A. We can't beat Detroit. Q. How do you stop an Edmonton Oilers fan from beating his wife? A. Dress her in Detroit red and white. Q. What's the difference between the Rexall Place and a red light district? A. In a red light district, you pay $300 bucks and somebody scores. Q. What's the difference between the Toronto Raptors and the Edmonton Oilers? A. The Raptors shoot at a net. Q. Why are the Edmonton Oilers like Canada Post? A. They both wear uniforms and don't deliver. Reckless driver. A Oilers fan liked to amuse himself by scaring every Red Wings fan he saw strutting down the street in an obnoxious hockey jersey. He would swerve his van as if to hit them, then swerve back just missing them. One day while driving along, he saw a priest. He thought he would do a Good deed, so he pulled over and asked the priest, Where are you going? Father. I'm going to give Mass at Street. Francis Church, about two miles down the road, replied the priest. Climb in, Father. I'll give you a lift. The priest climbed into the passenger seat, and they continued down the road. Suddenly, the driver saw a Red Wings fan walking down the road and he instinctively swerved as if to hit him. But, as usual, he swerved back onto the road just in time. Even though he was certain that he had missed the guy, he still heard a loud thud. Not knowing where the noise came from, he glanced in his mirrors but still didn't see anything. He then remembered the priest, and he turned to the priest and said, Sorry father. I almost hit that Red Wings fan. That's okay, replied the priest I got him with the door. Better at sex. There were two men, one was a Oilers fan and the other was a Red Wings fan. These men were both madly in love with the same woman. So the woman challenged that whichever man does a better job at having sex with her would be her boyfriend. Both men accepted the challenge. That night, the woman had sex with the Oilers fan and then the other 
Knight had sex with the Red Wings fan. The next day the woman chose the Red Wings fan to be her boyfriend. Shocked and outraged, the Oilers fan asked why she didn't choose him. She replied by saying, You, like your team not only come up short but always finish early. Career Day It's career day in elementary school where each student talks about what their dad does. Little Johnny is last, and finally the teacher calls on him to talk about his dad. Johnny comes to the front of the class. My daddy is a dancer at a gay bar. He takes off his clothes for other men, and if they pay him enough money, he goes into the alley and performs sex acts on them. The teacher is shocked, and she calls for an early recess for the rest of the class. She sits down with Johnny and asks him if this is really true about his dad. Johnny says, no, but I was too embarrassed to say he played for the Edmonton Oilers. First grade. A first grade teacher explains to her class that she is a Edmonton Oilers fan. She asks her students to raise their hands if they were Oilers fans, too. Not really knowing what a Oilers fan was, but wanting to be like their teacher, hands explode into the air. There is, however, one exception. A girl named Mary has not gone along with the crowd. The teacher asks her why she has decided to be different. Because I'm not a Oilers fan. Then, asks the teacher, what are you? Why I'm proud to be a Detroit Red Wings fan. Boasts the little girl. The teacher is a little perturbed now, her face slightly red. She asks. Mary why she is a Red Wings fan. Well, my dad and mom are Red Wings fans, and I'm a Red Wings fan, too. The teacher is now angry. That's no reason, she says loudly. What if? Your mom was a moron, and your dad was a moron, what would you be then? A pause, and a smile. Then, says Mary, I'd be a Oilers fan. Skunk. A skunk walks into a bar and sees three guys in the corner wearing Oilers jerseys. He turns to the bartender and says yeah lll think I stink.